This is a continuation of the video about identifying the wires on a pickup and ma magnetic polarities. What I've got here is a set of Seymour Duncan P rails, which are kind of an oddity in the Seymour Duncan world in more ways than just the way they look. This is the bridge pickup, and it actually is labeled with a B. And this is the neck pickup. Now, you can tell by the way they've put their logo on there that they kind of intend you for you to install them this way with the P with the P90s on the outsides and the uh, the mini rails on the insides instead of kind of you know m matching they're actually inverted so let's start with the bridge the wire colors are typical Seymour Duncan colors you've got a bare wire which is going to be a ground wire You've got black and a white, which is one pair, and green and red, which is the other pair. Typically, black and white would be the inside coil, would be the slug coil, and green and red would be the outside coil, and would be the screw coil. But on this particular, and typically on Seymour Duncan's, the insides would be a north magnet, and the outsides would be a south magnet. So on the neck pickup, you'd kind of have the reverse, the inside would be north. Still, still the same in terms of inside, but inside would be north, outside would be south, uh, inside would be black and white wires, outside would be green and red wires. You're going to find the P-rails are a little different. Uh, let's just start with electrical phase, electrical polarity. Assuming that this is the same and it is, on the black and white pair, the black is actually the hot output, white is the ground wire. Normally this would be, black and white pair would be the inside coil. If you look at the meter, you'll see that I do get a little bit of movement on the inside, but the P90 gives me significantly more. So the black and white wires are actually the screw coils and they're the outside coils. Now on the red and green pair, I'm going to wire those red, hot, green, ground. Now you see quite a bit more change there with the uh, the rail, and that P90 does pretty much nothing. So it is kind of the reverse of what you would expect from a Seymour Duncan pickup. And then when you start looking at magnetic polarity, things get a little dicier. I'm going to guess, I'm not quite sure how they've constructed this, but typically in a, something that looks like a humbucker you'd have a flat bar magnet between these two and the, the magnetic polarities would be the edges, the one, one edge would be a north and one edge would be a south. On a typical single coil it's actually the pole pieces that are the magnets so you kind of check those differently by checking them this way rather than on the edges. This seems to be kind of a combination of things, the way the, the, the way the compass responds to it. In this room, north is kind of that way. Uh, Earth north is that way, which is pointing to a south magnet. And if I go here and, and start checking against the sides like I would typically do, it looks like the rail is a north magnet. But then, when you, as you come around, it seems to get confused about what, what this other side is. And if you tilt it a little bit, then you can sort of get it to play along. This is obviously, you know, it's very consistently a north magnet. It stays solid whether I go up and down or go side to side. And then it seems like when you get over to the P90, you kind of have to rotate up toward the poles to see that those are that that is the south magnet and then as you come kind of come around it starts flipping around but um, so the inside is that is a north magnet which is typical of Seymour Duncan now let's take a look at the north the neck pickup even though the even though our wires our coils ended up being backwards the magnetic polarity I guess it does kind of switch around too when you go over here, now we have a south magnet on the inside. So on the bridge, we had a north magnet on the inside. 
on the neck pickup, we got a south magnet on the inside. That's that's different for Seymour Duncan. So what they're actually doing with these pickups is going north south, north south. So what you end up with is, and, um, look at them in here. This is the neck. This is the bridge. North south, north south, which helps you to mix those with other pickups, which I think was the the idea for them. And, and doing that differently than they had ever done that previously. On the neck pickup, if I check the wiring, start with the black and white pair, white being ground, black being the hot lead. So black and white is the screw terminal and in this case it's the outside coil which I think is what we had there too so this is all kind of mixed up if you're used to Seymour Duncan's world of the red and green I'm gonna go green is ground and red is hot that should be the rail and it is and that's the correct polarity there electrically so we've got black and white on the outside with the screw coils and green and red on the inside with that uh, with that rail. So to summarize this, if this is the neck, this is the neck, this is the bridge. Magnetically they are north-south, north-south and as far as wire coloring is concerned the P90 is the black, the P90's both of them are the black and white wires and the rails are the red and green wires which is kind of the opposite of what you'd expect from a Seymour Duncan pickup and then they don't have the insides being north and the outsides being south they are north-south, north-south. Thanks for watching.